So force is a vector. When I push something or pull something, uh, it has direction, like toward the camera, to the side of the camera. And it has magnitude, because I can uh, make it big, make it little. Uh, so we can just use our vector laws to solve some force problems. So uh, we are going to look at uh, adding forces. We're going to look at uh, ramp problems. And we're going to look at equilibrium problems. And, uh, and then we're going to look at the triangle inequality law and how it applies to forces. OK, so here's the first one. Uh, Griffin Thomas, who just uh, who is going Canada wide, by the way, uh, is flying his drone. He doesn't have a drone, but that's beside the point. Over a canola crop, and it's not his canola crop. Uh, so, uh, do we ever really own anything? I guess is the appropriate question. So the drone can apply a force of five newtons. That's what its little propellers can do. Uh, the wind is forcing the drone east. It's giving it a force of three newtons. But in order to conduct the experiment appropriately, uh, Griffin wants to fly his drone due north. Now, what I've done actually is I've ripped off the velocity as a vector problem. I've turned it into a force as a vector problem where we're just adding forces together. But it's got this little twist where we want the resultant vector to be due north. OK, good. So here's the resultant vector. I really, really know it's north, uh, but I don't actually know how big it is. So that's going north. Little square brackets indicate it's going north. I do know uh, that the wind is blowing uh, towards the east uh, with a force of three newtons. So I know that this is three newtons east. Very good. OK. And uh, I know that the drone can uh, produce five newtons. So I don't know what heading this drone needs to take, but I need, do know that it can uh, provide a force of five newtons. There we go. So this is our triangle. Um, fortunately, uh, this is a right angle. So this becomes a Sokotoa problem, not a, a nasty sine or cosine law problem. So we're all ready to use our super simple uh, Sokotoa stuff. All right. Uh, oh, look. This very well could be a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Of course it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Um, so uh, I can, uh, I know that this is going to be 4 newtons north. Oh, so I guess I've, uh, what will the drone's airspeed uh, be? Net force. So I know the net force on the drone is going to be 4 newtons. And I knew that that was north from the get-go. OK. Uh, in order to find the angle in here, I can do almost anything that I want. Uh, so if this is theta, and by anything I want, I mean I can use sine or cos or tan uh, to figure this out. And so uh, sine theta is going to be equal to 3 over 5. And so theta is going to be equal to the inverse sine of 3 over 5, which somebody is more than willing to call that out right now. All right, perfect. Thanks, Danica. It's good. Send it on. Thank you. Bye. And the arc sine of 3 over 5 is 36.8. So let's say it's 37 degrees. It's good enough. Good enough for canola. There we go. And so uh, in this case, he's going to fly his drone uh, with a force of 5 newtons, 37 degrees to the west of north, uh, in order for his drone to provide a net force of 4 newtons directly north. And his drone will fly directly north when this is all done. All right. So you'll notice that uh, net force questions wind up just being triangle problems. This one was a nice, easy Sokotoa problem, but it could be 
you know, a sine law or a cosine law problem. Or you could like do a scale diagram. All right, let's go on and take a quick look at an inclined plane problem. And we're going to do an inclined plane problem even though it was on the preamble, uh, just so I can talk about some of the features a little bit. This happens in physics a lot. So this is 30 degrees here. Oh, it could be anything, but I just happen to know the sine and cosine of 30 degrees. And here is our, our box. And gravity, at least on the surface of the Earth, has this consistent tendency to pull things uh, directly downwards. So this is a box that has a weight of 100 newtons. So it probably has a mass of 10.2 kilograms or something like that. But it has uh, a weight of 100 newtons, meaning there is a force of gravity of 100 newtons pulling it directly down and inconveniently not parallel or perpendicular to the surface uh, that it's sitting on. When we do physics, we want to know how much force is uh, pulling that box down the ramp, so how much force is parallel to the ramp. And in order to calculate friction adequately, we want to know how much force is pushing the box into the ramp. So basically what we're doing is we're breaking this 100 newtons into uh, what we call an X and a Y component, or sometimes it's called a parallel and a perpendicular component. Okay, This is going to pull it down the ramp. This is going to push it into the ramp and uh, cause friction. All right. Now, I used to do a long song and dance so that everybody could recognize that this 30 degrees here shows up in here. But everybody seemed to be pretty cool with it. So I'm just going to say, yes, there is the 30 degrees. It's right there. OK, so, uh, so the parallel, the force that's parallel to the ramp, in other words, this force is actually just the same as that force right there, which is opposite the 30 degrees. And so, uh, so this is the F parallel. Let's call it Fx. I think it's a little bit better. So Fx is equal to, um, let me do this a little bit differently. So sine of 30 is equal to the opposite side, which is f at x over 100 newtons. And so the parallel force, or the force in the x direction, is 100 newtons times the sine of 30, sine of 30 degrees. Uh, and I happen to know the sine of 30 degrees, because I know my special triangles, is 50, or 0.5. And so uh, the force pulling that parallel to the ramp is 50 newtons. Okay, pushing it into the ramp. This side is adjacent to 30 degrees, and so this is the cosine of 30. And that is equal to Fy over 100 newtons, or 100 newtons times cosine of 30. So Fy is 87. Newtons. And so those are inclined plane problems. Uh, you'll notice these ones, basically, you're just breaking, uh, you're breaking this gravity into two components, an x and y component that are perpendicular. So this one always winds up being a Sokotoa problem. Pretty nice. All right. Let's do an equilibrium problem. Equilibrium comes into chemistry and calculus and everything else. Okay, so uh, when we have an equilibrium problem, forces are uh, in balance, right? And it's not enough to have two of them because we want to do two dimensions, and so often it's trying to find that third force. Okay, um, I'll give you just a second. Um, all right. Good. If you just want to send me the picture, that'll be great. 
Okay. Thanks, William. All right. So you'll probably notice a pattern in these problems, such as uh, that uh, I wind up making them all right angle triangles and three, four, five triangles and 30 degree triangles, which is just fine. Okay. So uh, here we go. This is uh, Ayla. And she is providing a force of uh, four newtons. And let's say that's to the north. And this is, uh, this is William. And he's pulling to the east with uh, three newtons. What we want to do is have these vectors we want to have a third vector uh, so that this thing is in equilibrium. And so that third vector has to end us up back at zero. Um, so if this was vector A and it was four newtons, and this was vector B and it was three newtons, uh, and this is vector C, vector C basically has to be equal to the negative, the opposite of vector A plus vector B. OK. Um, so really what we want to do is we want to know um, what the orientation and direction of the vector are. And uh, since it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, that's easy. We know that C is going to be 5 newtons. And we can, uh, we can use whatever law we like here. Uh, we can use sine or cos or tan to figure out uh, what this orientation is. So my guess is that this is 37 degrees. Is that right? Yeah, this is 37 degrees. OK, so uh, sine of theta is equal to uh, opposite that angle, 4 over 5. Is that right? Yeah, OK. So theta is equal to the arc sine of 4 over 5. I hope I didn't make a mistake. That is uh, 37. 37 degrees. OK. So you'll notice as well, equilibrium problems boil down to being basically triangle problems again, solving triangles. This is Sokotoa because I don't like doing sine and cosine law. All right. Last one. <clears throat>